Good evening. The State Television Company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today is broadcast. The delegation of Western Armenia visited Artsakh, border of Artsakh and Azerbaijan in Shushi. French Senate resolution on Artsakh will mark the beginning of new realities. Arai Karutunyan. Search for missing in action. Exchange of prisoners priority for Armenian government. Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan. Aznavar Foundation sends humanitarian aid to Armenia. Delegation headed by the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Armenia Kabramian, left for the Republic of Artsakh on November 24 on a three-day visit. The delegation consists of Parliament Speaker Leonardo Basmajan, Deputy Defense Minister Suren Shahumian, and deputies of Western Armenia. Took place a ceremony of handing over the deputy mandate of the deputy elected from Artsakh, Hakob Hakopian. Within the framework of the visit, the Republic of Western Armenia delegation had meetings with the political leadership of Artsakh, in particular the Speaker of the National Assembly, Artur Tomasian, the deputies of the ruling party, representatives of the non-governmental organizations, as well as the citizens of Artsakh. An exchange of views took place. A number of current issues were discussed, such as the security of the population, the activation of the activities of the residents, and the promotion in the field of urban development. While visiting Artsakh, the Republic of Western Armenia delegation filmed a part of the current Artsakh-Azerbaijan border on the outskirts of Shushi. In the current uncertain situation, the lack of the final clarification of the borders depends in the air on the security of the only functioning road connecting Artsakh to Armenia. Of course, the presence of Russian peacekeepers is encouraging, but the construction of a safer road connecting Artsakh to the motherland is very imperative. The resolution on the need of recognizing the Artsakh Republic adopted by the Senate of the French Parliament on November 25 will mark the beginning of a new realities, Artsakh President Arai Karutunyan mentioned. The statement made by the Artsakh authorities in this regard is in our vital interest, Harutunyan said as he shared the statement issued by the Foreign Ministry. The French Senate voted 305 to 1 to adopt the resolution on the need to recognize the Artsakh Republic. The resolution condemns the military aggression of Azerbaijan against the people of Nagoya. Gorno Karabakh, emphasizing that Azerbaijan has been supported by the Turkish authorities through the involvement of the jihadist mercenaries and calls for the immediate withdrawal of the Azerbaijani armed forces from the territories occupied after 27 September 2020. It emphasizes that the negotiations should address the restoration of borders defined in 1994, as well as the security of the Armenian population and the right of return of displaced people and the preservation of Armenian culture and religious heritage. The search operations for those missing due to the recent war in Nagorno-Karabakh as well as the exchange of prisoners of war are an absolute priority for the Armenian government, Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan said during today's cabinet meeting. We are working on these issues on a daily regime. The main problem is that the efficiency of the work, unfortunately, does not depend only on us. The activity and further improvement of the social protection guarantees for the families of those killed, the displaced persons and other groups and citizens affected from the war is in the list of our urgent actions, the Prime Minister said. More than 35 tons of humanitarian aid was collected in France and Switzerland by Aznavour Foundation and its various partners to be sent to Armenia. Part of this aid will leave on November 27 in a plane chartered by the Minister of Europe and Foreign Affairs within the framework of the humanitarian support announced by the President of the Republic, Emmanuel Macron. Armenia always had a special place in Charles Aznavour's heart. He has become a symbol for earthquake survivors in Gyumri and stood next to the Armenian people in the happiest as well as in the saddest days till the very end of his life. Nowadays, his legacy and vision continue through the Aznavour Foundation and we stand with Armenians in these difficult times. With the help of our friends and partners, we were able to collect 35 tons of humanitarian aid that will be transferred to Armenia with the support of Emmanuel Macron and the French government, said Nicole Nicolas Aznavour, co-founder and chairman of the directors of the Aznavour Foundation. Now let us represent your attention a song by Vahram Tadevosyan. <laughs> Sì, 
can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.